This is the inside of the Mark II phonograph. Over here we see the audio section. This is the input. This is the preamp, it's a stereo preamp. This is the power amplifier, the mono power amplifier. The tone generator is on the fascia panel. This is the drive for the VU meter. I'll show you the outputs in a minute. This fascia panel over here is a, a small computerized signal generator and the power switches. Here is the uh, stepper motor driver, the micro stepper motor driver for the stepper motor here. This is the transformer for the stepper motor driver with three stabilized DC power supplies on this board here. This is the transformer for the audio. This is the transformer for the uh, signal generator. There's a small fan at the back to cool things down because the, uh, the, the power supplies get a bit warm. And there's a switch to turn it off so that it doesn't make a noise when we're recording. This is the fascia panel all closed up. Over here we see the VU meter and the gain control for the outputs to the computer or other supply here. This is volume and tone controls for the uh, power amplifier inside the machine with a loudspeaker here. This is the um, frequency display for the signal generator, the enable switch which allows you to start and stop the motor without losing the, the frequency. This is a direction switch so you can record cylinders backwards if you wish and the power supply on offs here. These controls change the, the frequency. Up here is the, the tone arm. It, this top is the top from a, uh, an Edison home about 1902. Um, which used to be a lovely dark black but it was found rotting in the back of a market in Bombay and has now been painted with modern hammerite. Apologies for the clash in colour. However, the acid test of this thing is to hear it work. So, here. so now the acid test. Let's hear what it sounds like. We'll put a cylinder on the machine. And switch on. This is the power, this is the power to the boards, this is the audio amplifier on. In order for the mandrel to run, the frequency needs to be 32.5 kilohertz. The mandrel is now doing 160 RPM. So, put the tone arm on the cylinder. As you can see, the control for the output drives the VU meter, which is separate from the gain control for the power amp. And there we have it, a combination of 19th century technology and 21st century technology. What fun, eh? <laughs> Thanks for watching.